वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट फाइव मेटल स्ट्रेप्स ईच फोर्टी मिलीमीटर वाइड आर बाउंडेड टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ कंपोजिट बीम द मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इज टू हंड्रेड टेन फॉर स्टील वन जीरो फाइव गेगा पासकल फॉर ब्रॉस एंड सेवेंटी गेगा पासकल फॉर एल्यूमिनियम नोविंग दैट द बीम इज बैंड अबाउट हॉरिजेंटल एक्सिस बाय अ कपल ऑफ मूवमेंट एटीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन इन टू मीटर सो डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन ईच ऑफ द थ्री मेटल्स एंड इन बी पार्ट रेडियस ऑफ कर्वीचर ऑफ द बीम सो यू कैन सी फिगर फोर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव दिस इज अ कंपोजिट बीम दैट इज कम्पोज ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम ब्रास स्टील ब्रास एंड देन एल्यूमिनियम लेयर एंड ईच हैविंग वेट फोर्टी मिलीमीटर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव मैंशन द गिवन डेटा दैट ईच मेटल फाइव मेटल स्ट्रिप ईच ऑफ वेट और ब्रेड इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर स्टील मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इज टू टेन गेगा पास का सिमिलरली ई बी ब्रॉस फॉर ब्रॉस दिस इज वन जीरो फाइव एंड फॉर एल्यूमिनियम दिस इज सेवेंटी गेगा पास का अप्लाइड मूवमेंट इज एटीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन एल्यूमिनियम मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन ब्रॉस मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन स्टील एंड देन इन पार्ट बी रेडियस ऑफ कर्वीचर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फॉर दैट यू कैन सी दैट दीज बीम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ सेवरल मटीरियल सो फर्स्ट वी विल कन्वर्ट फर्स्ट वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू सिंगल मटीरियल बीम दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ सिंगल मटीरियल एंड फॉर दैट वी यूज एल्यूमिनियम एज रेफरेंस मटीरियल सो वट यू डू फॉर रेफरेंस मटीरियल वी नो दैट एन इज इक्वल टू वन इन एल्यूमिनियम आई विल राइट द शॉर्ट कट सो एन इज इक्वल टू वन फॉर एल्यूमिनियम सो इट मीन्स दैट we will you know, find the ratio n between the other two material so we, uh, again you know that this n is equal to modulus of elasticity of higher material divided by the um, lower modulus elasticity of the material so as uh, we have taken the aluminum as a reference material so aluminum has uh, 70 giga pascal and steel has 210 mega pascal so we will find that so 210 divided by 70 will give you uh, 3 n will be 3 for steel similarly n is equal to for brass that will be equal to brass having higher modulus so in numerator it is eb divided by el e aluminum so brass having uh, eb 105 divided by 70 is equal to 1.5 for brass now what we do we we are going to convert the brass and steel into aluminum so again as in lecture it is given that if you change let aluminum having area a so if you replace brass so area of brass will be replaced by n times a similarly uh, area of brass so area of steel will be again n of a so this n will be for steel for brass n is equal to 1.5 and for steel n is equal to 3 we will use this value okay so again uh when we move further you will uh, know that uh, uh, we have to draw the uh, this diagram as we will take this diagram again let me copy it sorry not crop copy in order to exaggerate it or to zoom it i will paste it over here and if i make it a little bigger so okay 
now uh, we can see we are we are going to convert it into a single material so for that we also know that uh, due to symmetry due to symmetry the centroidal axis will be passed through the mid of this that this is the centroidal axis clear so let this is your first first portion not material this is your uh, second this brass is second this is your third this is fourth and this is fifth strip clear so we will find the moment of inertia for this i for one for two for three four and five and then we will apply the uh, maximum stress equation because we know that the, uh, this is equal to minus n time m into y divided by i clear so for that we need the moment of inertia of this uh, this beam that is converted into a single material so first we will go for i1 so i1 you know that this is aluminium and again for L, this i1 will be equal to n1 over 12 b1 h1 cube plus n1 into a1 d1 square how because we know that for, uh, n1 is for aluminium n1 is 1 so it will be equal to 1 over 12 b1 b1 is this width which is 40 millimeter so 40 into h1 which is this 10 millimeter this 10 millimeter so 10 whole cube plus n1 is again 1 into area a1 this is area a1 and that is equal to 40 multiplied by 10 so 40 multiplied by and this is area a1 now what is d1 so d1 is the you can take the mid of this a one area and it is from center to this distance this is equal to d1 because centroid is not passing through the center of this section so this is d1 and this d1 is equal to again you can see this is 5 so 5 plus 10 15 and half of 20 is 10 so it is 25 so 25 square this is your i1 again i1 will be equal to you can i1 you can calculate it and it this i1 will be equal to 253.33 into 10 raised to power 3 millimeter power four now for i2 i2 is for this portion i will show you i2 is this portion this portion is i2 portion so for that we will get uh, this i2 and this i2 will be equal to n2 over 12 b2 h2 cube plus n2 into a2 into d2 square now n2 for this brass is again you can see that is 1.5 here this is the brass portion and we are converting into uh, aluminium so again its width will increase while the height will remain same so n2 is 1.5 divided by 12 into b2 is 40 and height is again 10 so 10 cube plus 1.5 is n2 a2 is again 40 into 10 40 into 10 and now d2 is this distance thus from neutral axis to the center of this and this is d2 and this d2 is this distance is 5 and this is 10 so it is 15 millimeter so 10 into 15 whole square again when you solve this so you will get i2 will be equal to 140 into 10 raised to power 3 
millimeter power 4 we will copy this uh, edit and then you have to copy it uh, not crop copy copy it and we will move towards second page and we will paste it here okay resize it now for i3 again this is your center centroidal axis now for i3 we know that i3 is equal to n3 over 12 into b3 h cube and since this is your three third uh, strip and its centroidal axis passes through its center so in this case this d will be zero but i will write let's say write formula n3 a3 into d3, d3 square as d3 is equal to zero so this term will be equal to zero so we will be left only i3 is equal to n3 or 12 b3 h3 cube okay so put the value n3 for steel it is 3 times divided by 12 into breadth is 40 millimeter you can see this is 40 millimeter this and height is 20 millimeter so 40 into uh, 20 whole cube so this is i3 now when you calculate it i3 will be 80 into 10 to power 3 millimeter power 4 so you have done with 1 you have done with 2 so by using symmetry this was 4 and this was 5 as we know that i1 is equal to i5 and i1 was i1 is 253 clear so we will write this value i1 is equal to i5 is equal to 253.33 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter power 4 similarly i2 and i4 are same and that is that was 140 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter power 4 now for transform beam that is converted into single uh, uh, material we have moment of inertia will be equal to sum of all the inertia that is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus i5 so if you put all these value you will get and add them so you will get i is equal to 866.6 into 10 is to power 3 millimeter power 4 so this is the moment of inertia of transform beam now we'll move toward our first part in first part it has been asked to find the maximum stress for aluminium so we know that this stress maximum stress for aluminium the general formula of this stress is equal to minus n times m into y divided by i where n is the ratio for the material m is moment of inertia y is distance from neutral axis to anywhere you, where you want to find the stress and i is the moment of inertia so for aluminium for aluminium we know that we have taken n is equal to 1 and you can see that aluminium is located at a distance of this is y and this y is equal to 10 plus 10 which is uh, sorry uh, not this is y this is the y uh, from this to topmost because we are interested to find out the maximum stress so this is y and this is 10 plus 10 plus half of 20 which is again 10 and y is equal to minus 30 because upward distance is taken as negative minus 30 millimeter and that in meter it, it will be equal to minus 0 0.030 
ओके सो सॉरी अपवर्ड डिस्टेंस टेकन एज पॉजिटिव डाउनवर्ड इज टेकन एज नेगेटिव सो वी आर लेट टेक दिस डिस्टेंस इफ यू टेक अपर और लोअर बोथ विल गिव यू द सेम आंसर बट ओनली इन अपर पोर्शन देर विल बी कंप्रेशन वाइल इन बिलो लेयर देर विल बी अटेंशन सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव सो लेट दिस डिस्टेंस इज वाई एंड दैट इज माइनस थर्टी बिकॉज डाउनवर्ड इज टेकन एज माइनस सो इट विल बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो सो वैन यू पुट इट इन दिस फार्मूला सो सिगमा एल्यूमिनियम मैक्स मैक्सीम एल्यूमिनियम विल गिव यू माइनस वन एन इज वन मूमेंट इज एटीन हंड्रेड एंड वाई डिस्टेंस इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो डिवाइड बाई मूमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज एट डबल सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस नाइन सो अगेन वेन यू कैलकुलेट इट इट विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स पासकल एंड इन पासकल दिस मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन एल्यूमिनियम विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट थ्री मेगा पासकल नाउ फॉर ब्रॉस for brass again this maximum for brass will be equal to minus n m y divided by i for brass n is 1.5 m is 1800 divided by i is 866.6 into 10 to the power 3 clear and what is y for brass so for brass this y will be till the mid of this so this is 10 and this is half is uh, half is again this is 10 and uh, sorry not at the middle because we are interested to find out the maximum stress so maximum stress will be till this point so this is y brass and this is again this half portion is 10 and this 10 is 20 so you can put the value of 20 mm minus 20 so minus 20 minus 0.020 m so when you solve this you will get this 62.3 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or maximum stress in brass comes out to be 62.3 mega pascal the same as in aluminum okay now uh for steel we know that maximum stress in steel is equal to minus n time m into y divided by i so n for steel is 3 and into M is eighteen hundred divided by eight sixty six point six into ten to the power three, and for steel, this is from the neutral to the top most of the steel layer. This is ten, so ten millimeter, and that is minus zero point zero one zero. And when you calculate, it will again give you the same answer: sixty two point three into ten to the power six pascal, or maximum. Stress in steel comes out to be sixty-two point three mega pascal. Now we'll move toward the second part that is about radius of curvature, and we know that radius of curvature is equal to rho and that is equal to e into i divided by moment as we have converted the uh, composite beam into a uh, single material beam clear so we will write ea because we have used aluminum so ea will be equal to rho will be equal to ea is 70 gigapascal so 70 to 10 to the power 9 into 
866.6 into 10 is to power minus 9. Clear? 10 e, uh, so not minus 9. E is minus 9 or minus 3. I have, this is minus 9. Okay, we I this is minus 9. This is again minus 9. So, minus 9 divided by moment which is 1800. So, from here you will get radius of curvature is equal to 0 0.2967 per meet, uh, sorry, meter. Uh, not, sorry, not this value. It will give you, when you calculate, it will give you 33.7 meter. So, radius of curvature rho will be equal to 33.7 meter. So, this is the answer. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.